Hi there, um, my name is Misha Collins and I am uh, I'm reading to you from the Bill of Rights. I am uh, I'm an actor, I'm not an authority on the Bill of Rights or the US Constitution, but um, I can tell you that every day we enjoy many privileges, many rights, many protections um, because of the existence of this document. They, um, these these privileges, these rights, these protections may operate often in our life invisibly. We don't even know um, the many ways in which we are being protected by the Bill of Rights, um, but it's operating in our daily life all the time. Um, many laws are based on on this these amendments to the U.S. Constitution, um, and the very way of life that we enjoy is dependent upon it. And that's why I am a big supporter of the ACLU, because the ACLU stands up to defend the Bill of Rights and its principles. So that's a long-winded way of saying... <laughs> the Bill of Rights, yo, it's dope. All right, I'm going to read. Not very well, but I'm going to read nonetheless. First Amendment, the Bill of Rights. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This is the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the Third Amendment of the Bill of Rights. No soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. It's the Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses. Hey. Yes, sir. This is for Open. Okay, thank you. Let me let me finish reading this and then I and then I will open it. All right. No. Open well, it. just this one paragraph. No, I'll just. Oh, you open it for me. <laughs> How did you get all this candy? It's what the heck? <laughs> you little sneak. <laughs> all right. This is the fourth amendment. You want to hear the fourth amendment of the Bill of Rights? Uh, no. No. All right. Well, let me know if you do. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. The Fifth Amendment. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime Daddy, yep unless on a presentment i think they're little seeds unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia when in actual service in time of war or public danger nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. And this is the Sixth Amendment. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Hey, policeman, I stole your Ain't no stealing, guys, or we're going to have to put you in front of a grand jury. Seriously. This is the Seventh Amendment. 
In suits at common law, where the value and controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. The Eighth Amendment. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. The Ninth Amendment. The enumeration of the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. The Tenth Amendment. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people.